Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shelly. I am a third grade teacher, but more importantly than that, I am a mom. And I'm currently on maternity leave, as you can tell by the title. I'm going on a little bit of a fitness journey and I'm taking you along for the ride. These videos are super casual and honestly, the only goal is to document my journey, maybe inspire someone and I don't know, maybe entertain you along the way. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a normal day. Like I said, I'm on maternity leave, so I am home which makes eating at home obviously a lot easier. I understand that. But regardless, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day, kind of the different things that I use to help me stay on track. In my very first video in the series, I posted like my goals, things that I'm doing because I'm nursing. So if you haven't watched that video, maybe go back and watch that first. That way I don't have to repeat myself 7,622 times. That would be great. Um, but if not, you can ask me questions down below and I will always answer those. So let's jump into the video. All right, in full transparency, it is 9.20 in the morning and the only thing I put in my body is water and a Celsius. Now, I told you in the last video I cut out alcohol. I can't cut out caffeine right now. I can't get rid of that. Um, so, that being said, this is my like healthier energy drink. I'm not drinking Red Bulls or Monsters or any of that stuff. So, I get these at Costco. They're phenom. Um, the Kiwi Guava is my favorite flavor. So, I have consumed about 10 calories. Baby is currently napping, so I'm going to try and make my first meal here in a minute. But if there's two things that I know to be absolute fact, it is one, that if you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. I don't care what excuse you make. And two, as soon as your meal is done, your baby will wake up. It's science, I can't explain it. Okay, but before we jump into what I'm gonna eat first, there's a couple things that I wanna mention. If you are on some sort of fitness journey or you're wanting to start a fitness journey and tracking your macros, like your calories and everything like that is something that you want to do. And it's what I'm doing. You need to get a food scale. Um, this thing is amazing. It helps me stay on track. And then once I use it enough for certain foods, you kind of are able to eyeball it a little bit more. Anyway, I'm going to be using this for my meals today to make sure that I'm getting exactly what I think I'm getting. And the second tool that I use is my fitness pal. It is an app. I use the free version, to be honest. So as we go through the video, I will post um, somewhere on the sides the meals that I'm plugging into my fitness pal. Um, it tracks all my calories, my protein, and everything like that. Quick note on my fitness pal, there's like a little thing where you can plug in recipes. So what I've done is if it's something that I'm eating a lot, I create a recipe and then I just have to tap it once. You don't have to like find every ingredient. Pro tip. Let's jump into breakfast. I am one of those people that doesn't really like to eat in the morning. I'm just not hungry until later. But that being said, I'm going to show you one of my favorite meals that I've been doing lately. Disclaimer number 73, a lot of the meals that I want to show you aren't my own. I will not take credit for it. I refuse. Um, so when I show you a recipe, if it is from somebody on Instagram, I will tag them. I will give them the credit because then you can go follow them for other sorts of delicious recipes. This first one comes from, I think it's macros by M. I will link her here. She's amazing. A lot of the stuff that I've been eating comes from her. So go follow her on Instagram. This is her recipe. I've tweaked it like this much. Um, so let's get into it. Okay. I should probably tell you what it is. Um, this is like a literal two minute protein pancake. I do it in the microwave. It's delicious. And then I'm also gonna have like two just like, what do you call it? Over easy eggs on the side just for extra protein. I'm gonna stop talking and show you. All right, so this is everything you're gonna need. We got our food scale. We are using the Kodiak um, pancake mix. I have some leftover, so I'm gonna be using that. Some egg whites, vanilla extract, 50 grams of banana. Like I said, I've been doing this long enough to know that that's 50 grams. A quarter cup of water and and some sort of sugar-free syrup i use the sugar-free syrup because two tablespoons is only 15 calories so that's our setup super easy okay here we go the first things first we need 63 grams of the mix if you go a little over no big deal and then we're gonna do 50 grams of egg whites a quarter cup of water i add a splash of vanilla extract just for some extra flavor then we're going to mix it all together i add bananas to mine but you can really add whatever fruit you want then it's gonna go in the microwave for about a minute and a half, and we're all done. Okay, so while that's going, another quick little tip, sometimes I will do this. Um, sometimes the night before or like early the next morning, I will pre-program in my fitness pal all my meals for the day. That way I know I'm like within my calories and within my like protein and all that stuff. 
it super helps. Today I'm not doing that because I just don't really know what I'm in the mood for and I also know that I have to like prep some ingredients. So I'm just gonna kind of wait and see for lunch and dinner. Dinner I'll probably start to think about in the afternoon because I have like a bunch of people to cook for. Um, so while that's sitting there, I'm gonna do two eggs and then we will sit down, eat, and I will show you all the macros for breakfast. Okay, also the syrup, this is from Walmart. Like I said, it's 15 calories for two tablespoons, but I also just found this one um, at Target. So this one's sugar-free and this one is only five calories for two tablespoons. I mean, it's not that much different. The ingredients are probably not the best, but it's all good. Um, give and take, this one, same. Probably not the best ingredients, but it's only a little bit, not worried about it. So the last step to this bad boy, I know now what two tablespoons looks like. So it's about like that. So good. Oh, it literally tastes exactly like a freaking bomb banana pancake. Okay, so this is breakfast. I personally can't stand listening to people eat or watching people eat. Um, so I'm not gonna put you through that. But this is what I mean, like I said in the last video, where you can find things that are delicious and like hit your sweet tooth and the things that you love, but in a healthier way. I will have all the macros for breakfast listed right here. And if you have any questions about this, no, leave them down below. I'm gonna eat, I'll pick you back up when I eat again. Also, really quickly, haven't touched my food. Baby's still sleeping. Did I just change it? I don't know. We'll see. Update, I made it through the whole meal. Baby's still sleeping. Um, so now, I'm gonna pick up my house. Here's another pro tip for you. I put all the crap on the coffee table and then I just have everything in a pile. If you know me, you're not surprised. This is how I clean my classroom. I'm a pile kind of girl. Okay, but that's not why you're here. I will see you later. <laughs> okay, it is 11.50 and the baby woke up at like 11.05 and I spent a better half of an hour trying to get her to take a bottle. I'm still nursing, but I'm gonna be gone Friday night and she hasn't taken a bottle and Chris is gonna have her. So long story short, I'm trying to train her to take a bottle as well. Um, but we have some errands to run because I don't eat breakfast until a little bit later. I don't really eat lunch till like 1, 1.30ish. Um, but since we're gonna be on the road for a little bit, I'm just having this little guy. Um, it's the Quest birthday cake protein bar. I'm not a big protein bar girly. I just think they're not that great. Um, and some of them have a lot of calories. I don't know, but this one's actually really good and I like it a lot. I'll put the macros right here, but basically it's 180 calories and 20 grams of protein. My light just died. That was rude. Um, and the birthday cake flavor is delicious. So I'm going to have this. We're only going to be gone for like an hour. And then when I get home, I'll show you what we're going to have for lunch. I don't know what we're going to have for lunch, but we'll see. All right. So we just got home for errands. It is like 1.10. So I told you between 1 and 1.30. Um, and I think I know what I'm gonna have, super easy. I'll pull everything out and then kind of show you the ingredients, what I'm gonna make, and then eat, because that's why we're here, okay. Okay, so here is what we have. I showed you these on my last video. These are from Costco. I think you can get them at Walmart too. It's the Real Good Chicken. There's 23 grams of protein in four ounces, 460 calories, so this is what I'm gonna use. Let me back up. I'm making like a quesadilla kind of, except I hate cheese, so it's like a quesadilla without cheese. So basically I wrap everything in a tortilla and then I fry it on the stove and then that's that. So I use these um, carb balanced tortillas, they're 70 calories, so I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna use six ounces of this instead of four to get more protein. And then after the chicken's done in the air fryer, I'll toss it in some barbecue sauce. You guys are gonna think I'm weird as shit, but it's good, I promise. And then inside the tortilla, I put avocado, the chicken, and then I um, put some of the sriracha mayo like a little bit on top, and it's delicious. And then after I have that, I'm gonna have like a little sweet thing. It's like this protein pudding that the same girl, Macros with M makes, um, and I'll show you how to make it because I have one in the fridge, but I have to prep more, so. Okay, but for now, let's make it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna weigh out six ounces of the chicken and pop that in my air fryer. I'm going to do it at 350 for about 12 minutes. Actually, while that's cooking, I'm just gonna show you how I make this protein pudding right now. This recipe has saved my life. I haven't really been a sweet tooth, but I find when I am like trying to cut back on calories, all of a sudden I'm craving sugar. 
I'm also not drinking alcohol, so I'm craving more sugar. Anyway, I digress. This protein pudding is three ingredients, and the reason it is amazing is because you can literally tweak it and tailor it to whatever flavor profile you like. So I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, this is all you need. You need protein powder. So this is one way you can tailor the flavor. So I like vanilla, you could do chocolate, you could do like cookie dough, strawberry, whatever flavor you wanna go for, you can use that with your protein powder. Unsweetened almond milk, and then sugar-free, it has to be the sugar-free one in order to be like low calorie, um, pudding mix. This is the white chocolate, this is delicious. Sometimes I'll put peanut butter in this recipe for more protein, um, but I'm not doing that right now. Um, I do vanilla, I do pistachio, they have a chocolate one, they have banana. So you can literally make this in whatever flavor. And what I'm gonna show you makes two servings. And I already have some in the fridge because you do have to make it and then let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. But let me show you how easy this is. So the first thing we need is around 300 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. Make sure you get one that's about 30 calories per serving. Then we're gonna add a scoop of our protein powder and then one full box of the Jello mix. From there, all we need to do is stir it all together and then eventually we're gonna separate it into two little containers. This makes two servings, so from here, all you have to do is pop on the lid and let it sit in the fridge. And then moving back to our wrap, I am going to use about a quarter of an avocado, so I'm just gonna slice it and lay it down on the tortilla, add the sriracha mayo, and then from there, I like to chop the chicken up into little bits, stir in my barbecue sauce, fun fact, if you wanna use buffalo sauce, there are no calories. Then you fold it over, make sure to eat the extra so I get all that protein, and then this is what I do to make it flat. I am going to have a protein pudding with my lunch, so this is one that I had prepped earlier, this is vanilla, and then I like to add some chocolate chips just to give it a little extra sweet crunch. And then this is it, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's super filling and delicious. Okay, so I know it's not like the most appetizing thing in the world, but this is lunch and I'm super excited because it's delicious. I know it can feel daunting with like the scale. I'm breaking my rule. I know it can seem like a lot. It can seem kind of daunting with the scale and everything, but once you get in the rhythm, it's really not that bad. But it is really important if you want to accurately track your macros, because I feel like that's a huge mistake people make. They just like eyeball it, and then you're way over or under eating. Um, so it's just a really surefire way to make sure that you are knowing what, exactly what's going in your body. Okay, I'm gonna eat and we will check back in probably around dinner time. I do know that for dinner we're gonna have spaghetti squash, um, which is really low calorie, but that means I can probably have something yummy after, so. Cheers. All right guys, it's that time of the night, it's five o'clock. If you hear any craziness going on in the background, we're just gonna ignore it because we're a family of five and that's, that's life. So for dinner we're doing, I told you earlier, spaghetti squash. Can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> so this is literally all we're using, spaghetti squash, ground turkey, and this is the best pasta sauce ever. The Arabiata is like a spicy version. They make lots of different flavors. This is our favorite. That's it. I'm gonna fry up the ground turkey, put the sauce in. This goes in the oven, I'll show you in just a second. Super low calorie, protein from the ground turkey, and then that's dinner. So, I will have all the macros on the screen like I have for the last couple meals. Let's cook. If you've never cooked a spaghetti squash, this is for you. Basically, the first thing you're gonna do is just cut off the ends. It is a little bit tough. Then I like to just cut mine right down the middle, and when you open it, it kind of reminds me of a pumpkin. So basically, you're just gonna scrape out all the guts, get all the seeds. It is a little bit stringy, but that's okay. From there, I just flip them over and I spray them with a little bit of zero calorie oil, and I season mine with salt, garlic powder, and pepper but of course you could do whatever flavors you love. And then all we need to do from there is flip them over. I put them down on a piece of foil and then I put mine in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes and they're perfect. And the sauce is super easy. I'm just weighing out the ground turkey. From there it goes straight into a pan and I use the best device ever. I will link it down below to break up the ground turkey. And then all I do is dump in the sauce bring it up to a boil and then let it come down to a simmer. And then the squash is done. Once it's done, you're just gonna pull it out. I just shred it straight into my bowl because I know what two cups looks like by now. So that's what we're doing for this recipe, around two cups each. So I shred it into our bowls and then from there, I just weigh out the sauce. I have this pre-programmed into my fitness pal, which makes it super easy. 
Um, some of you asked me about the kids and if they eat what we eat, and I told you sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They will probably not eat spaghetti squash. And weirdly enough, they don't love red sauce, and this one's kind of spicy. So I'm just gonna boil them some noodles and make this sauce, which they love. Um, and I don't mind doing two meals because this is also good for their lunches for like two or three days, so I don't mind, and it's super easy. All right, so this is dinner. Again, I'll put the macros right there. Chris is eating the same thing. Boys are already eating. Normally we eat together, but it's just been kind of a crazy day, so we're not. Well, we are, but just later. <laughs> Carson's in the background. Hi. Turn around and eat, please. I'm Probably check back in after the boys go to bed to see if I ate anything else, and then we'll wrap this up. Can you tell it's the end of the day? <laughs> I love watching videos and seeing how like haggard I get by the end. Okay, so it's 8.30, the kids are in bed. I'm pretty much done eating for the day. I am gonna have one more of those protein pudding snacks that I showed you earlier. Um, and again, I'll put the macros here. And then I will have somewhere over here, the total um, calories and protein that I ate for the day. Um, because like I've mentioned before, that's really what I'm focusing on. Couple things to mention before I end this video. When it comes to like my day of eating, 1800 is my magic number for right now. Sometimes I'll eat less, sometimes I'll eat a little bit more. As long as I'm around that 1800 number, it's a win for me. And that's what's been working. I'm officially down like eight pounds, nine pounds, um, which is exciting because it's been about six-ish weeks. Um, something else that I thought of that I want to mention really quickly because I feel like people will ask if I like know that I'm going to be going out to dinner or having a certain meal that might be higher in calories, something that I've been doing is let's say it's dinner. I will go into my fitness pal and I will put that meal in first and then I will like plan the rest of my day or eat the rest of my day around that meal. So that might mean less food in the morning or less food for lunch or no snacks or something like that. Um, and that's been really helping me stay on track as well. So another little pro tip for you. If you enjoy these type of videos, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below some of your favorite meals, which ones of these you're gonna try. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, go do that now, all the things. Thank you guys for following along this little fitness journey that I'm documenting. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.